In case you haven't heard, the 80s are back from the fashion to the movies, to the TV shows, to the music. This will be fun. And while nostalgia always does sell, in Malaysia we seem to be going for it big time. After all, we made this man PM again, and he wants to build a new national car. Wait, what? No, your ears have not deceived you. In his recent trip to Japan, Tun M talked about reviving his dream for a new national car. In a way, this shouldn't be a real surprise given how public he was about being crushed when his baby Proton was taken private and sold to the Chinese. Yet, of all things to be revived from the 80s, is this really a good one? The reactions to this news is decidedly mixed and that is being really kind with UMNO politicians taking the opportunity to snipe at the current government while analysts were also varying degrees of meh. More importantly though, members of the public seemed actually concerned about a possible Proton 2.0. Some saw it as a big step backwards. More countries are actually working to take people off the road and onto trains. But in Malaysia, which cancelled the MRT3, seems to be going the other way. However, there were some supporters who saw it, very much like Mahathir's second run at PM, as a chance to get it right the second time round. So, would Proton 2.0 be a colossal mistake or a surprising second coming? I say the answer is not so simple. Because before anything, we still do not have the actual details. The only thing that was mentioned was that Malaysia has the capacity to do almost 100% of the development, with another Asian country such as Japan, Thailand or South Korea as a partner. Some of you though are sure to jump down in the comments and say no matter what shape it takes, Proton 2.0 is just a bad idea overall, like nasi lama ice cream or marrying your cousin. But the fact is that Malaysia is in need of a second coming in industrialization. That is something that Mahathir has always strongly believed in, which ex-PM Najib seemed to put on the back burner in favour of turning the country more service industry based. Maybe part of Mahathir just really wants to say... So if he wants to do it, it is important to take a look at where it went so wrong with Proton. And in a way, it can be traced back to one word, protectionism. In a way, to see how Malaysia's automotive dreams could have been, take a look at Thailand, which installed a lot of business-friendly policies, attracted foreign players, and became Southeast Asia's automotive champion. However, because of Proton, Malaysia tried to forge ahead on its own, despite a lack of knowledge, and this led to trying to buy expertise from several companies, and you ended up with multiple manufacturing platforms. So to do things right, protectionism must not be part of the agenda. But Mahathir at the very same summit said that growing nations like Malaysia needed different trade protections. He was specifically talking about the TPP, but you can see why there is some concern and why some people are worried. The other thing about protectionism is how it festers this deep-seated resentment in being forced to pay a premium for foreign cars that has tainted Proton for a lot of people. Whether you choose to call it Proton 2.0, Pertiga or Malaysia's plastic automobile fantastic, it really wouldn't matter if Proton came up with the best car in the world that gave you massages and cooked you dinner. Just tell some people they can't do something and they will automatically hate you. It is not a Malaysian thing by the way, it is a human thing. I can understand that there has to be something to take pride in, and we all have dreams that we want to fulfil. But sometimes we do have to face the reality. And doing this twice, doing it badly, is an easy way to sour a relationship that looked like it had been going so well. However, I must mention that we were informed that the plans about a new possible new national car was leaked online sometime this morning, and we are going to show it to you. Not everything from the 80s is great, clearly. Just saying. 